Madura foot, which is also known as mycetoma or the Madura mycosis, is uh, it shows classical triad of swelling, and after the swelling, the uh, the sinus will be developed, and from the sinus there will be granular discharge. So the clinical features, the important triad you need to remember is granular discharge, swelling, and the sinus. So it's also divided into three types. One is actinomycetoma, which is caused by bacteria, eumycetoma, which is caused by fungi, and botryomycosis. So the Madura foot is a chronic infection of the skin and the subcutaneous tissue. Pathogenesis is causative fungi or the bacteria present in the soil enters our skin to the abrasive area, and it causes micro abscess there. And slowly and the chronically it develops granular matter discharge. Epidemiology it is first found in Madurai from Tamil Nadu, so the name Madura foot is given. And Africa and South of America also have these cases. The slide shows differences between eumycetoma and actinomycetoma. Which are the two different types of Madura foot? So the first one is caused by the true fungi. You mycetoma refers to the true fungi, and the second one is caused by the bacteria, but it looks similar to the structure of fungi. It forms black or white colonies under the microscope, whereas the second one forms the red colonies under the microscope. It is caused by Madurella mycetomatis or Pseudoalisteria bauti, and the second one is caused by Nocardia or Actino Madura Madurae. In the first one, the tumor is single, large, and well defined. Whereas in second one, there are multiple tumors formed, which are ill defined. Serous discharge can be seen from the eumycetoma. Purulent discharge can be seen from the actinomycetoma. So for staining and absorbing under the microscope, we use KOH mount in the first one, whereas we use acid fast staining in the second one. So what we'll see under the microscope, as it is a fungi, the eumycetoma, we can see fungal hyphae. As the second one is a bacteria. We can see filamentous bacteria under the microscope. The first one we have poor prognosis; mostly amp amputation is needed in these cases. Whereas second one can be treated with the uh, drugs. So the drugs used in case of eumycetoma are itraconazole, amphotericin B. Whereas in second one, amikacin and cotrimoxazole. This is a picture of eumycetoma. 